Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. I'd like to offer you some foreign exchange charts today. And the first chart I'd like to look at is the euro against the dollar. Here we have a third bearish black crow yesterday and a continued follow on lower to Monday's hugely significant key reversal down. It was also the second consecutive day's close below both the neckline of the small recent head and shoulders top, currently 117.5, and, and a short stroke medium moving average, also currently 117.5. The next potential levels of support are the recent 50% Fibonacci line at 115.89 and a 2019 high at 115.70. A likely potential target for the mini head and shoulders top would be in the 115 and a half area. So far today, not much, just a slight move lower. One thing to remember, we are already set for a potential monthly key reversal for September. There's still just under a week to go. So if we close on the 30th of September below 117.70 or above 119.40, we'd be on. The next chart I'd like to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. An indecisive doji cross there, though, yesterday, though, it did extend the downside. The key points were the second consecutive close below the bearish bump and run reversal top trend line, currently at 128.34, and the close within the previously highlighted close combination of the gently rising medium moving average, currently 127.31, and a flatlining long moving average, currently 127.18. I've marked further down targets X and X1. Target X is the potential target on the downside of the previously mentioned bear flag formed over September. Target X1, coincident with the 50% Fibonacci line for 2020 at 124.42, is the target for the bearish bump and run reversal top. In between, amongst many things, is the May to date uptrend currently at 126.14. Finally, with just under a week of September to go, we are already on for a monthly key reversal, currently down. We close on the 30th of September below 130.85, then we'd be on. So far today, a little dip below the moving average combination, but reverting back up once again. The next chart to look at is Euro against Sterling. A bearish engulfing pattern, almost a key reversal down yesterday. But with a still a week and a bit to go, we have the chance for a monthly key reversal here as well, closing above 9,000 or below 89.20 and would be on. A monthly key reversal up looks likely at the moment. So far today, a move lower from yesterday's close. So I suppose a follow on lower, but it's still within yesterday's range. So nothing to write home about. The next chart to look at is the US dollar against the Indian rupee. A bullish engulfing pattern, if only just yesterday, along with a bullish double. This after three days of indecisive spinning top type actions. However, it is today's action that is the more interesting. So far today, a gapping higher bullish white soldier, a significant gap as well. The market jumping over the Fibonacci congestion, which has secreted within it the 50% Fibonacci line for the September 2019, April 2020 move at 73.68, plus the 50% Fibonacci line for 2020 at 73.84. Overhead, we still have the long moving average resistance, currently 74.14. The final chart I'd like to look at is the US dollar against the Brazilian real. A bullish opening long white Marabos yesterday, the second within four days. It almost seems as if the market is glad to be free of the congestion below the moving averages, Fibonacci levels and broken lower times. Next top side resistance is August's highs at 563.33 and 567.25. Beyond that, there's seemingly little until the 575 area. That about wraps it up, so in the meantime, Good trading and stay safe in the markets and in real life.